It's the honor of my life to accept your nomination for Vice President of the United States. We're all, we're all here tonight for one beautiful, simple reason. We love this country. So thank you to all of you here in Chicago and all of you watching at home tonight. Thank you for your passion. Thank you for your determination. And most of all, thank you for bringing the joy to this fight. Now, I grew up in Butte, Nebraska, a town of 400 people. I had 24 kids in my high school class, and none of them went to Yale. But I'll tell you what, growing up in a small town like that, you learn how to take care of each other. That, that family down the road, they may not think like you do. They may not pray like you do. They may not love like you do. But they're your neighbors. And you look out for them. And they look out for you. Everybody belongs. And everybody has a responsibility to contribute. For me, it was serving in the Army National Guard. But it was those players and my students who inspired me to run for Congress. They saw in me what I had hoped to instill in them, a commitment to the common good, an understanding that we're all in this together, and the belief that a single person can make a real difference for their neighbors. So there I was, a 40-something high school teacher with little kids zero political experience and no money running in a deep red district. But you know what? Never underestimate a public school teacher. Never. We cut taxes for the middle class. We passed paid family and medical leave. We invested in fighting crime and affordable housing. We cut the cost of prescription drugs and helped people escape the kind of medical debt that nearly sank my family. And we made sure that every kid in our state gets breakfast and lunch every day. So while other states we're banning books from their schools, we were banishing hunger from ours.